This is like the most simple step, but it's also the most crucial step because if you f this up, then you pretty much just screw everything up for the rest of the melody. Oh, so you want to learn how to make authentic piano melodies. Well, you have come to the right place. Trying to get a genuine piano sound coming from not a piano can be hard at times, especially if you're not sure where to start. So in this tutorial, I'm not only going over how you can make great piano loops and all that, but I'm also going over how you guys can get that awesome authenticity. authenticity with your piano and where to exactly start with getting them to sound good. So if you want to get better at making loops, watch this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so to start off, I don't really focus on my tempo setting, not in the beginning. I really just want to focus on like getting like the main melody down as the beginning. So um, to do that, I'm just going to open up my favorite piano plugin, which is Piano Tech 7. It's 150. It's kind of on the pricier side, but a good alternative to this is Addictive Keys. Or if you want something that's free, Keyzone Classic is also really good. I'll put links to all of those in the description below. But anyways, let's go to Piano Tech 7. And this is kind of where I just want to start off with like my root notes. And to do that, I just pretty much just go down here and I go like to like the C4 range. And I just like pick like a starting note to start off with. And now like the whole point of this is to go along with the tempo, the default tempo that I'm at right now. And I just want to get a pattern with the root notes that sounds melodic, sounds pretty good, like overall. So I pretty much just have a really, really basic root note progression. But this is really all we need to start off with. Like, we don't need anything really special with the root notes. The most important thing with getting your root notes is just making them sound melodic and harmonic in a way. So that they all just kind of go together. This is, like, the most simple step. But it's also the most crucial step. Because if you fuck this up, then you pretty much just screw everything up for the rest of the melody. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone Piano Tech. I'm going to just get, like, some really basic chords. So this was the third, and now I'm adding the fifth. I'm just pretty much just using my ear to just figure out what sounds best. Now, what we're going on to now is where we're going to get a lot of the emotion drawn out with the melody. This is going to be from the top soprano line. The soprano lines are basically the notes on top of your chord progression. So I'm pretty much just using my ear to find notes on top of my chord progression that sounds good and helps to draw out that emotion. It's really nothing special. And like you can even go further. I'm going to add even more top notes. If you follow these steps, then you should also have a pretty similar main melody or something that you made by your own. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clone Piano Tech 7 again. And this is going to be the part where I start to add like more of the embellishments to this. So one thing that I like to do is I like to pretty much just let this melody play. And then I like to hum of something. Like I'm just humming a melody in my head. And then what I want to do is I just want to put the thoughts in my brain onto the laptop. Mm, doo -doo -doo. So this is what I was humming in my head, and I just put it down on here. I'm not going to clone it yet, because we're just going to add on to this.
And for like the second part of the 8 bar loop, then we can add like more to this. So like this. So now we have our piano pretty much down. We have it locked in, we have it sealed, we have it whatever. Well, we don't have it sealed yet. Take that back because I didn't just say that. We don't have it sealed yet. We need to make this sound like an authentic real piano because this doesn't sound like an authentic real piano. This sounds like it came out of Piano Tech freaking 7 and we don't want that. This is actually really fast and really easy to do so you guys don't have to worry about this but go back to each pattern that you did and I'm gonna start off with the root note here. just arrange the velocity you want to do the same thing but first what you want to do before you arrange the velocity is you want to put these a little off note and now what we want to do is we want to arrange the velocity same thing that what we did with the uh, bass notes you can each like individually arrange each velocity note or you could just do alt R so since I can edit this I'm just gonna do it each individually and then we'll just to this, where we finally have velocity down to how we want it. We're going to move on to our Piano Tech 7.3. You can also do Alt-R for this. You can keep it like that if you want. Or you can just each individually, you know, kind of do each note. So we arranged everything. We got the velocity and all the notes. So it sounds a little bit more authentic. Here's one thing that I really love doing with my pianos. And this makes it sound a lot better. I put the sustain knob on. In Piano Tech 7, this is the sustain pedal. This is what it sounds like when you have the sustain pedal on. Once I finish my pianos, I just love doing this. I love to go to a bass. Alright, now that we have our bass, I'm gonna go to Vocal Runs 2, it's one of my favorites. Um, but pretty much what we're gonna wrap this up with is Funky Fingers, which I love for like, it's, Zay it's Zaytoven's plugin and I use it a lot for like my organs and stuff. Alright, so we have our organ down. I have to take out some of the melodies for now because our CPU decides to uh, not work with us. Um, last thing we're going to be adding is the distorted guitar lead. I'm using Ample Guitar um, LP right here. I'm routing this to channel 3 and I'm using Valhalla Vintage Verb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the decay down a little bit, put the mix down a little bit, and eh, just about there. And I'm pretty much just going to get a cool guitar pattern going.
All right, so we're pretty much just gonna add something like that. And then of course, we're gonna add stuff like reverb. We're gonna add parametric EQ. We're gonna add all those kind of good things just to make everything kind of sound good together. We're gonna pan them. We're gonna put some in stereo, some in mono. And that is gonna pretty much wrap it up to the end of this loop. Which brings me to the conclusion of my video. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I very much appreciate it. And consider subscribing and liking if you guys enjoyed this. But that is going to wrap it up for me, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys want to see me do other kind of styles of loops and kind of try to make those, then I'm always free to suggestions. So leave those down in the comments. But that's going to wrap it up for me, y'all. Y'all can listen to the full... I was going to say beat. Y'all can listen to the full loop right now. I'm out. Thank you.